All right. Shalom, all me, Ashurala. Back at it again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua, Hashem, Yahakudash. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor and all glory and all praises to our Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Yahakudash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, who still guard us to the highways and byways and feed us with 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And Shalom, Labakoyim, Wabarakim, Shayah Sharala, which is peace and blessings to the elect of the nation of Israel and the Lashi and Kodash. You know, and coming back at you with your Akim, with another lesson to the spirit of the power of Yahweh, by Shema Hashem, by Shema Chakotash. The name of this lesson is going to be called Have Faith in the Lord that He will answer your prayers, man, or the, or, you know, something to that effect, you know. So without further ado, we're going to go right into the scriptures and start off with the book of First uh, Thessalonians. It's the book of First Thessalonians. Amen. 5 and 17. It's the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 17. Pray without ceasing. We're right. So, what that means is you're supposed to pray to your Habashim Al Shahu, the world eagerly calls God and Jesus Christ without ceasing. The word ceasing meaning uh, non stopping, man. You know, when, you, when you're telling somebody to cease, you know what I'm saying? Or like, like how do you say back in the ancient world, uh, ancient times, when you watch these ancient movies, if somebody's running, they'd be like, seize him. You know, which means to stop him. You know, so it's supposed to pray without stopping. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to be always continue to pray until y'all by Shema uh as much as we can. Talking to myself first and foremost. And the word pray, go back to the word beg. You know what I'm saying? Because when we get, when we, when we face the east and pray in the name of Yahweh by Shema Hashai, we're begging him, man. That's what we say, Baba Kusha, which means to please in the, in the ancient Hebrew many times in our prayers, man. You know, because we're begging, you know. Uh, this is the book of uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. Again, pray without ceasing, right? Meaning praying non-stopping, man. You know, praying without non-stopping, you know. You know, so uh, we're going to go from there. Let me see here. To the book of uh what's that mark to the book of saint mark 11 11 and 24 this is the book of mark 11 and 24 this is william howard shot speaking who the word eagerly calls jesus christ uh this is mark 11 and 24 therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them exactly meaning having faith man when we pray to Yahweh by Shem we're supposed to have faith that He's going to answer our prayers, man. You know, although we are on the Lord's time, so uh, a lot of the times Yahweh by Shem is not going to answer our prayers immediately. You know, it may take a long time for our prayers to get answered. But guess what? You're supposed to pray without ceasing, man, and having faith that your prayer is going to be answered. You know, the Lord Yahweh said, "Whatsoever things you desire, and what, what do we desire on this side, man? We desire the wisdom. We we desire Sophia, man." You know, so we're asking Yah by Shema Sha to help us grow in this truth and make us uh, spiritually stronger, more spiritual discernment, more faith. You know what I'm saying? More fear. You know, more uh, uh more spiritual discernment. You know, we we desire the things uh, 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 uh of the spiritual world, man. We desire the things of the spirit. You know, and he says when you pray, which we we get now um when you when you're facing the east, you know what I'm saying on your knees. You know, with your hands to uh towards the heavens, you know, you know, when we pray, we uh beg you how about Shimmy Al Shai, right? You know, uh believe that you receive them, right? Believe, man. Have faith that you're gonna receive uh what you're praying for, man. You know, you can't pray to the Lord, you know, and, and in the back of your mind thinking, Well, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. You know what I'm saying? You can't be in that spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, all right, I'm going to pray for Yahweh Hashim Hashah for this right here, the things that I'm lacking. And I have faith for Yahweh Hashim Hashah that he's going to uh, 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 he's going to give them to me in due time, you know, because we're on the Lord's time. We're not on. He's not on our time. We're on his time. And the reason you shall have them exactly. Eventually, you're going to have them, man. You know, you're going to have what you're um, what you're praying for through the spirit of Yahweh Hashim Hashah. So now. 
we're gonna go to the book of let me see same book um in fact no it ain't the same book Salakia, it's not the same book this is the book of matthew seven chapter Salakia. this is the book of matthew chapter seven verse seven ask and it shall be given you seek and ye shall find knock and it shall be opened unto you exactly lord you always shall say ask and it shall be given unto you how do we ask the lord for things man through prayers you know you know specifically in the last year one kodash in the hebrew man and it said and it shall be given to you man so the things that we're asking in hebrew you know uh yeah we got to believe and have our 100 percent faith that you that you how about you is going to give it to us man seek and ye shall find exactly man you know, seek what? Seek the truth, and you're going to find it if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh open up your spirit and allow you to receive the truth, man. You know? If you be part of that number to get uh called into this truth, you know, you're going to be, you're going to find the truth. You're not going to be blind like the two-thirds of our people, you know, that sees the truth, but understand it and see it not. You know? And not, and it shall be open unto you. Exactly, man. You know, praying, man. You know? Knock on the door of Yahweh by Shema Shah so he can open up your spirit, which is your mind, to receive the truth, man. You know, Yahweh by Shema Shah, like, like it says in the book of Revelation, he's going to sup with you, man. You know? So, yeah. So now we're going to go from there to the book of Luke, the 11th chapter. It's the book of Luke, chapter 11. Verse 9, and it reads, uh, And I say unto you, Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For Verse 10, For everyone that asketh receiveth, and every, and, one, and he that, that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. See? And this is a promise from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. Man, Lo Yahweh Shah said this, man. He says, Whosoever asketh receiveth, man. Whosoever seeketh, findeth. And whosoever knocketh, it shall be opened, man. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shema is going to um, open your mind up to receive this truth. If you be a part of that number to get the truth, man. You know, they be called into this truth, you know. Because there's a lot, a majority of the people, you know what I'm saying, that don't understand the truth, man. You know, and it could be breaking down, broken down plainly onto them and they just won't get it. You know, so the water of Yahweh Shema Shah, starting off with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, down to younger brothers like us, man. You know, that we're able to re receive this truth that we was called in this truth. And Lord's willing, we, I pray that all of us be part of the elect to be uh, chosen, man. Be chosen to the elect to endure to the end. You know? So now we're going to go for the next precept. This is the book of, um, this is the book of St. John, chapter 14. Verse uh thirteen. This is the book of Saint John fourteen and thirteen. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, so you gotta know the name of the Lord, man. You, know, you can't just call the Lord Jesus Christ and expect the Lord to uh give you the wisdom and knowledge and understanding. You know, his wisdom and knowledge and understanding, man. You can't do that. You know, you gotta know the name of the Lord, man. It ain't Jesus Christ, it's not Ahia and Ashaya, it's not Jesus the Christ, you know. It ain't none of those titles, man. You know, his name is Yahweh Shimei Shai, man. You know, Yah. When you break down the Heavenly Father's name, Yah meaning He, uh, Yahweh meaning is, man, or exists. You know, then when you break down the only begotten the Son of the Heavenly Father, which, which his name is Yahweh Shai, Yah meaning He, Yahweh Shai meaning deliver or savior, man. You know, deliver or save. You know, so if you ask anything. When you pray in the name of Yahweh Shemel Shah, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Exactly, see? He said, that will he do, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? That will he do. And this is the promise from Yahweh Shemel Shah that he was going to do this, man. You know, anything that we ask or we pray for, you know, in the name of Yahweh Shemel Shah, you know, you got to have faith that Yahweh Shemel Shah is going to, um, going to give it to you, man. You know? So now, um, this is the book of St. John 15 and 7. If ye abide in me and my words and by abide in you, which is the scriptures, which is this truth, man, you know, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done 
unto you. Exactly. See, the word unto go to four, man. So anything that we, if we buy, if we abide in Yahweh Shemiah Shah, which is this truth, man, you know, anything that uh, we ask in the name of the Lord, that's what he's going to do for us, man. You know, you got to have faith in that. You know, I'm going to read this one more time. This is the book of um, St. John 15 and 7. If he abide in me and my words, which is the Bible, abide in you, which is this truth. You know, if this if this uh, truth resonates with your spirit, you know, ye shall ask what ye will, right? In the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai, you know, and through prayer, right? And it shall be done unto you, right? Exactly. It's going to be done unto you. It's going to be given unto you, man. It's going to be revealed unto you, man. You know, Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to answer what your prayer is, is, it is, man. And there's plenty of accounts in the scriptures. Where uh, our people prayed to Yah by Shema Shai, and he heard them, and he took action, man. You know, so it's going to be the same thing in these times, man. Anything we ask in the name of Yah by Shema Shai, he's going to take action, man. You know, those angels are recording those prayers and sending them back up to the spirit realm, back to the uh, Heavenly Father, man. You know, to Yah by Shema Shai, the word because God in Jesus Christ, you know. And in due time, you know what I'm saying, majority of the time, Yahweh Shema Shah is going to answer those prayers that you're asking. So, hey, with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying for Yahweh Shema Shah that's watching through the spirit of Pavi Yahweh Shema Shah. Before I close out, I want to give all praises and all honor and all glory to the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Machakudash. And next up, double honors to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom, Labakarian, Wabarakim, Shayah Shavala, which is peace and blessings to the elect in the nation of the nation of Israel. And until next time, I say Shalom.